This is a public service announcement. Yes, it's going to be one of those videos. Carnage. Fighting. Dirty driving. We are at Dragon Trail Seaside. Featuring Death Chicane, but that's actually not that big of a factor in this video. Let's get this started. Qualified P13. Uh, this was fairly early on in the week. Not impressive. <laughs> but whatever, we're going to make the best of this. So, starting P13, let's see if we can work our way up. Turn one. No drama there. I do go a little wide, a little deep. Oh well. So the guy behind me here, Tri-Guns, uh, does catch up right on my tail. Decided to cut the inside of that turn. Breaking hard right before the sand, the second bit of sand. Getting on the throttle early, staying in third gear, cutting the inside of the next turn. Breaking a little bit after uh, that barrier on the right ends, or turns in, I guess you should say. And then it's full throttle through here. And uh, gaining a little bit on that group, and now I've got a little bit of a, a gap behind me. Breaking hard right after that curb on the left starts. Down to second gear. Trying to keep nice and smooth and consistent. Full throttle through here. And with those cars in front of me, am I gonna lift? I do lift. I did experiment, oh man, sideways, airborne. A little rough, but we survived. Death chicane on the first attempt. That didn't really help me catch up to this group ahead of me. Luckily, behind me there's still a gap. Looks like Trigun had some issues and Virts has uh, gained a little bit, but I get a good exit on that last turn, which helps me catch up to this next group. Uh, in qualifying, I was at times able to shoot through that dust chicane flat out, not lifting, uh, but in a race, too, too dicey. So now I have caught up to this group. We've got Ripton right on his tail, Eagle in front of him. And am I going to go wide this time? No, I stay to the inside. Yellow flag, what happened? We've got one, two cars have had an incident. Lyric with the flashers on. At the time, I remember thinking, oh, that was very kind of Lyric to throw those flashers on and indicate. But no, you'll see the indicators are just on the entire time. So, uh, gained two positions because of that incident with those two cars. So two free positions. But I'm now in the mix here, going after uh, Ripton. So can we get through here cleanly and make up any ground? Yeah, that gap behind me, Lyric is closing pretty fast. Flat out through here again. We've gone purple because it's lap two. We've all gone purple. A little bit of a lift, line myself up. I'm a little wide there, but no hitting the wall. I did go a little slower than I probably could have. And as Ripton goes by Eagle, I see Lyric in my rearview mirror going up the inside. I back out a little bit here, and then you see this car on the outside. That's Kawabunga. And as Kawabunga comes back on the track, gives me a little nudge, which reminds me of a recent incident. One of several incidents. This was in Monza a few weeks back, and I just got punted straight through that first turn uh, chicane. And as I come back on, Kawabunga just makes sure I am done for that race. So I'm seeing red at this point, or at least reminded. Uh, we've had our run ins, and uh, I'm not about to wait for a second uh, point of contact. So, as we go into this turn, well, I, this line, is it. I line myself up and give a little side swipe. We all know this move. Uh, I've been the victim of it many times, but uh, you know, if Kawabunga wants to go at it, cool. So, let's do that. 
I go up the inside on this turn again. You see Kawabunga bump up, and I see him lining me up. So I give some more break. He goes flying through, but does make contact, which unfortunately for me slows him down enough that he doesn't go into the wall in the sand. I come back on, boom, I'm hit. Well, I look ahead. <laughs> Kawabunga with a three second penalty. That's, that's a real bummer, dude. Uh, I did feel bad about this guy behind me though. And um, I let him through, but now I can see Kawabunga's going way too slow. And it's obvious what he's going to do. And uh, that's his, uh, his attempt to knock me off. I try to get enough speed to get around him. I miss, or I'm late. But as I go scraping off that wall, I run into him again, which somehow is going to give me a one second penalty. Not, not really sure about that one polyphony. Kawabunga slowing way down, tries to brake check me. He's just lining me up or attempting to. And then he ghosts. Oh man, that's too bad. But what do we see in the review mirror? Poof, he's gone. Vanished into the vapors of a rage quit. On your way, troublemaker. Unfortunately, that is the end of my race, really, for uh, all intents and purposes. There's no way I'm catching back up to anybody, realistically. I don't really understand the, number one, I don't understand people who play this game and to drive like that and just hammer people out of the way. It's really unfortunate. The other unfortunate thing is if Polyphony cannot come up with a penalty system to prevent this. So um, probably the best way to deal with this if you're out there playing and frustrated is join a league. Uh, having people to uh, hold you accountable and that you can hold accountable seems to be the best way to mitigate this, um, unfortunately. But uh, for now, that's all you can do. I guess the other thing you can do is you know, hone up your skills, your, the dark arts of uh, retaliation for when you need it. But uh, that's all for this one. For some actual racing action, check out these videos here.